All right, this video is kind of on a basis of why does a narcissist um, ends up devaluing you and resenting you. Um, you have to understand that the things that they initially um, begin to like you for and... Um, praise and admire you for in the beginning of the relationship will be the same things they will begin to hate and despise you for okay this is because for them I have to understand the narcissist is always in a perpetual state of what they call narcissistic supply so which means they're easily wooed or influenced or excited by anything new so if you're new, they don't know you, they haven't learned you yet, everything is exciting to them, okay? Everything is, you know, they're all in because they're trying to learn you. You're something new. You don't know them also, which makes it even better. It's, it's, it's a neutralized uh, position that they're, they're putting themselves in. Eventually, when you begin to see the and fallacies and discrepancies in the narcissist that you're with they begin to resent that same intelligence and everything that they like beforehand because the intelligence and stuff that you have and display to them once it begins to dissect and pick them apart um they begin to resent you and the resentment comes from the resentment at least comes from your ability to see through their bullshit because they know their bullshit they know they're full of shit and once you start speaking on it and expressing it it really tends to it fucks up their rea their false reality basically that you you begin you're like a a a I don't know how to put it you you're more or less something that, you know, dissects and picks apart their bullshit. And if you're constantly calling them on it and you're, you're making reference to them being full of shit, now they got an issue with you. Now they're not going to like you. Now their whole sense of uh, motive of being with you is to re act out revenge and tear you down from creating a narcissistic injury within them because now you've discovered um you discovered and not only have you discovered it's not the fact that you discovered it because they know they're full of shit it's the fact that you refuse to acknowledge their false reality their false self because you have to understand it's a dance that you get into when you are with the narcissist you're playing you're you're playing this role. You're dancing with them. And as long as you want to be their dance partner, they'll keep feeding you a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of lies, whatever you want to hear. You have to understand, from the time you met your narcissist, everything that was done with them and with you was all to appease you. You were fed a bunch of lies. You were given a bunch of false promises and seductions. And to seduce, it doesn't have to be sexually. It's just something that they know they can't fulfill based on a promise or whatever. They would not ever fulfill any of that. So all they do is drag you along. They string you along with false promises. Um, with, with everything that appeases you and appeals to your own ideals. So they basically mimic everything that you like and want once you find this out and you're able to see through that and you dissect it and you're like wait a minute this this is a bunch of bullshit you're not who you say you are you're not even remotely close to being who you say you are and you know what you're this that and this and that and when you're just picking out all of these things and you're telling them about themselves inside the narcissist is like you motherfucker how dare you 
how dare you speak against what I want you to believe? And they're angry that you are actually able to see through them. Not the fact that you could, did nothing to them. It's the point, it's the fact of you see them for who they really are. And they get angry because it's like my slave, my pet, is escaping. And once they feel that you've escaped and you, you see through it, now it's time for revenge. Now it's time to get you back. Now it's time to make you pay for seeing through their bullshit. So the things of when you exercise your own intelligence and your own logic and reasoning and then you, you go ahead and you show them that you see what's going on with them, now, okay, the narcissist is like, I have to switch up. Now, their whole purpose now is to make you pay for everything that you saw wrong in them and that you pointed out about them that is wrong. So they will continue to play the role, but underneath that is a lot of resentment, anger, and hate and frustration towards you. This is where it gets dangerous for you being in that type of relationship because now the narcissist is looking at attacking you. They're plotting to attack you. They're plotting to break you down at this point because you saw through them. They won't, a lot of times they won't just leave. Not if they know you cared and loved for them, but they know it's a, it's a, it's a lost cause and a lost situation once you've saw through them. So they want to leave with a bang. They want to leave if they're going to leave because they feel their time, effort, and everything is the most precious that can be whatever it was, even if they gave you a bunch of lies, they expect you to accept even their lies as something, as a gift to them, to you at least from them. So once that happens and you're sitting back looking like, wow, what do I do now? I mean, I've been involved with this person and now I see that this person really isn't who the fuck they said they were. You're faced with a dilemma, and most people can't really accept the fact that there is no change in them. And once you find out, you're in danger. You're really, you're really in danger because their whole purpose now is to break you down. They're going to break your ass down. And the longer you stay around them thinking that hey, they're going to change, and they'll promise you, hey, I, I know, I know... I lied to you. I know you found out about me and I, I don't know why I did that. I do have an issue. I do. They'll go ahead and tell you. And this is the, 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 the shit that plays on the psyche and draws a lot of normal people back in because it, it, it seems so genuine. You're like, okay, they understand. Okay. They want to change. And they'll tell you. And then you'll be like, well... Okay, I'll, I'll I'll give them. I think I'll. They they seem to understand. Let me let me give them a shot. That's the biggest mistake you can make. Because at that point, you just surrendered your freedom, and you're asking for your sanity and reality to be to be manipulated and played with. Because that's all they're gonna do at that point. Because they know. You found out about who I really am. You're not going to be the same anymore. You're eventually going to hurt me. Is what the narcissist is saying. But I still need you. So I have to figure out a way to keep you. And then make you punish. And then punish you. Upon my exit. So they'll play the role. They'll continue to play the role with you and be friendly to you and all of these things. But you have to realize that they're very vindictive and they're always plotting to destroy you once you figure who they really are. And there's no there's no escaping that there's no getting around that. 
they're always plotting to destroy you. If you're not going to be their pet, if you're not going to roll over and say, I'll do whatever you want. And even in that situation with a narcissist, it's a no win situation. You could be the perfect narcissistic supply to them. They will still plot and figure out a way to dismiss you, destroy you, whatever. That's just in them. There's no winning with a narcissist. And that's something you have to understand. So the qualities that you show that may be good to the average person, a normal person that would cherish that, a narcissist will envy you for that. And will plot to destroy you for all of those qualities that you do have that they actually like. Because those qualities is a threat to their false reality and false self. Because those qualities in you are going to eventually point out and see that they're not who they are. And that's something that they can't deal with. So keep in mind... The qualities that you show and possess, the narcissist will eventually come after you and attack you for those same qualities. And it's really no escape. So something to consider if you have dealt with them and you've seen it. Just be understanding that it's a no win situation. There is no such thing as being good to a narcissist. There is no such thing as cooperating with a narcissist. They want total domination. And even then, giving them that ability to dominate, they're still going to hurt you. There's a no-win situation with them. This has been this video. Until next time, like and subscribe. I'll have another video soon. Thank you.